Hello friends, I am Sharyu Pujari and I am an educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on some solved examples related to activated sludge process which is a part of treatment of wastewater. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and this session on solved examples related to activated sludge process part 6 by Sharyu Pujari. So about me, I am a verified educator on an academy, done my MTech in environmental science and technology and uh, my BA in civil engineering, have 2 years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link. So if you follow me, you will get notified every time I publish a new lesson or new course on this platform as well as this is my profile on an academy learning app where you can find my other courses as well. So uh, please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel so friends before going to this lesson and this will be my last lesson on uh, solved examples related to activated sludge process with this i hope i have covered all the type of questions that are asked on activated sludge process and our next lesson will be on some mcqs and then uh, i will start with the trickling filter right so before going to this lesson but please do refer my lesson on activated sludge process in which i have explained the process in detail with the diagram and all the terms related to that and also do refer the lesson on design parameters of activated sludge process in that we have seen all the formulas and their meanings in detail right so uh, let's start with this question so this question uh, is the following data pertain pertaining to uh, activated sludge process where flow rate is 10000 meter cube per day effluent bod is 20 mg per liter influent bod is 150 mg per liter mls is in aeration tank that is mixed liquor suspended solids is 3000 mg per liter and mls is in return sludge is 10000 mg per liter and f by m ratio that is food to microorganism ratio is 0 0.25 uh, 1 by d that is inverse of d and theta c is mean cell residence time mcrt right it is theta c is 10 days so here we need to find first is the volume of aeration tank next is aeration period that is our detention time next is bod removal efficiency and fourth is mass of solids wasted per day volume of solids wasted per day and recycling ratio and then last one is sludge volume index so these seven things we have to find out from this given information right so let's solve one by one before that we'll see the data they have given and we'll put them in our terms so q they have given in 10000 meter cube per day y i that is influent bod is 150 mg per liter effluent bod is 20 mg per liter x that is mlss mixed liquor suspended solids is 3000 mg per liter x u that is uh, MLS is in return sludge or underflow that is 10,000 mg per liter and food to microorganism ratio is 2.0.25 and theta C that is mean cell residence time it is 10 days right so let's uh, first uh, calculate the volume of aeration tank so here f by m ratio they have given and all the values are given and v here is unknown so here for calculating volume of aeration tank we are going to use the f by m ratios formula that is f by m is equal to q into y i by v x right f by m they have given at 0 0.25 q is 10,000 y i is 150 v is unknown and x is 3000 right so from that putting all the values we we'll get our volume of aeration tank as 2000 meter q right so next uh, uh, parameter we are going to find is aeration period that is detention time so detention times formula it is also known as hydraulic retention time right so its formula is v by q that v we have just found out it is 2000 meter cube and q is 10000 right 
so 2000 divided by 10000 we get 0.2 days uh, we get our answer in days so in hours into 24 it is 4.8 hours right so 4.8 hours is our detention time or aeration period so next parameter is bod removal efficiency so it is eta its formula is y i minus y e by y that is initial bod minus effluent bod divided by initial bod or influent bod right influent bod minus effluent bod divided by influent bod into 100 so it's 150 minus 20 divided by 115 into 100 so we get our bod removal efficiency as 86.67% so next parameter is mass of solid wasted per day so for that reason we are going to use this formula that is theta c is equal to vx divided by mass of solid wasted per day right theta c is mean cell residence time or sludge age that is given as 10 days v we have calculated that is 2000 and x is 3000 mg per liter so mass of solids wasted per day is formula will be vx divided by theta c so we have to we need our answer in kg per day that's why we need some conversion so this uh, meter cube we have to convert into liter and this uh, mg into kg right so doing the proper conversions we get our answer in kg per day it will be 600 kg per days so our mass of solids wasted per day is 6 uh, 600 kg per day right so next we need to find out the volume of solids wasted per day that is qw so mass of solid wasted per day is equal to qw into xq for this purpose do refer my lesson on design parameter so you will get a clear idea so generally mass of solids wasted per day is equal to qw into xu right so qw into xu is equal to so this mass of solid wasted we have just calculated is 600 kg per day so qw will be is equal to 600 divided by xu and xu is also given so this kg per day divided by mg per liter we have to convert it into meter cube per day because we are finding out the volume of solids wasted per day so volume of solids wasted per day that is qw is equal to 600 divided by 10000 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 10 raised to 3 it will give us 60 meter cube per day so this is our uh my volume of uh, solids wasted per day so please do uh, remember this formula for finding out qw so next is recycling ratio so recycling ratios formula is qr by q is equal to x upon 10 raised to 6 divided by svi minus x so uh, if you remember to this point i have explained in my lesson on parameters of right uh, activated sludge process in that we have seen that 10 raised to 6 by svi that is sludge volume index is approximately xu that is return sludge mlss or mlss underflow right so x and xu values we have so this 10 raised to 6 divided by svi is nothing but it is xu so so x divided by xu minus x is equal to 3000 divided by 10000 minus 3000 it will give us 0.428 so this recycling ratio is equal to 0.428 right so next is sludge volume index so sludge volume index we know this formula that i have mentioned here so xu is approximately is equal to 10 raised to 6 by svi so svi will be 10 raised to 6 by xu so it is 10 raised to 6 by 10000 it will give us 100 so in this way we can find out all the parameters also you can find out the volumetric loading rate that you can solve as your homework problem so based on this information this question information do find out the volumetric loading rate its formula i have mentioned in my design parameters and let me know the answer of volumetric loading rate for this question right so 
friends i hope this video was helpful so with this i am ending the solved example part for activated sludge process next we'll start with the trickling filters and also one lesson will be there on multiple choice questions of one mark for activated sludge process then we'll see some modifications done to the activated sludge process tomorrow and then we'll see uh, the trickling filter in my next lesson so friends please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons do share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel thank you